All right, it's good old LA back with another video. Uh, looks like things um, are heating up in uh, Latin America or South America uh, in particular. We have um, a right wing, I don't want to say far right because you get um, some people who dispute this, but one thing is uh, certain he's uh, definitely right wing uh, leader in Brazil along with the um, drug lords of Colombia <laughs> apparently want to or, or contemplating attacking Venezuela this should come as a surprise to no one um, DJ Chump which is what we uh, affectionately refer uh, Donald J Trump that, that's, that's what we call him here on, on this channel <laughs> this guy has been threatening uh, Venezuela uh, ever since he uh, is got into office probably because Venezuela uh, made the uh, serious mistake of wanting to use the oil wealth and other um, assets natural assets to benefit the majority of the population instead of uh, an, an oligarchy uh, that is uh, that would have been subservient to the uh, Bank for International Settlements uh, first and foremost the um, Zionist, uh, you know, uh, you, know, you have the banks being uh, first, and 1.5 is um, Israeli interest, and then uh, after that, the uh, corporations and the elites here in the United States. Uh, Hugo Chavez tried to uh, alleviate the suffering. And uh, speaking of that, uh, he also did that for many Colombians. I didn't know. I had to uh, hear from other um, YouTubers that the staggering amount of Colombians who actually fled Colombia because of the drug war that was imposed on the country by uh, the uh, good old U.S. of A. Uh, they actually, a lot of them ended up in Venezuela and in, in you know, like how these um, conservatives are complaining now about um, illegal immigration here, uh, and, and and rightfully so because everyone should be familiar with my position on um, immigration uh, for the newer uh, viewers or somebody who's stumbling across my channel for the first time. My stance is uh, we here in the United States should not be taking anyone in anymore. Um, there's not enough to go around as it is, and um, uh, we can't. We shouldn't have to compete with people. A uh, good example, case in point, is India. These uh, H-1B visas, where they'll work for one third of what an American will work for. You can't compete with that. It undermines our wages. But um, unlike conservatives, I'm I'm not a jerk, and uh, I'm I'm for helping. Uh, the people of the global south where they are and the primary way we can help them is to not let them be looted robbed and uh, raped and pillaged by multinational corporations by the bank for international settlements and the people who uh, own and operate these uh, banks and the goldman sachs type banks well, you know if that's the best way we can help them and to stay out of their uh, political affairs a uh, good case in point of that is if they elect socialists like uh Honduras and Guatemala did in the past we don't have corporations like United Brands using uh, thugs from the CIA to uh, kill their leaders or oust their leaders and to establish death squads which uh, brings me back to our topic at hand uh, the Colombians actually had a lot of right-wing death squads because they had to fight a guerrilla a uh, Marxist guerrilla movement known as the FARC I mean, they, let's just call them socialists I don't know how much of uh, Marx's uh, rhetoric they subscribe to, but it's safe to say they were socialists. And, um, you know, they didn't want this uh, bogus drug war imposed on them. So, five million Colombians um, over the years ended up uh, putting a burden on Venezuela's system. And others from, from the region uh, went, went into Venezuela to improve their lives. And now that the shoe is on the other foot, you have these right wing wackos in Brazil and in Colombia uh, they're, uh, you know, uh, licking at their chops wanting to pounce on Venezuela uh, threatening Maduro and by the way Maduro is popularly elected 
but um, we all know that uh, it's that's that's not good when you're elected but you don't play ball with uh, the tribe or with the uh, right corporations doesn't matter how democratically elected you are you will be uh, tampered with and um, ousted uh, or, or at least your reign will be sabotaged that's the best you can hope for and that's what's been happening with the Bolivarian Revolution for quite a while now uh, even under Obama who's if you listen to conservatives in this country Republicans and they'll call Obama socialist they'll call Obama a lot of things a Muslim a socialist and if he was uh, any of those things his actions uh, during his presidency would have been a lot different but again there's a continuity in the uh, foreign policy no matter who's in there but st still so many silly people that can't recognize that and uh, you again you get these um, foolish people talking about well that's socialism for you um colombians i mean venezuela's having food shortages and um crises but they'll ignore these sanctions that pretty much amount to blockades uh and they'll also ignore the united states uh counterfeiting currency to, there's so many ways that our um uh quote unquote intelligence uh agencies sabotage these countries in the global south and um it's, it's a sad affair, but hopefully the people of Venezuela survive um, and the Bolivarian uh, you know, revolution survives because, again, and, and, and Chavez and Maduro have not uh, gotten rid of capitalism. Like, they're, you still, they're still private and uh, for-profit businesses privately owned, but again, they don't want their country being raped by oligarchs who work on behalf of uh, the, the sinister clique as uh, the uh, Roman, uh, ancient uh, Roman actually referred to them as a, a sinister clique. Um, I think some people pronounce it clique. But yeah, people, the, the it's people especially in the go global south are tired of being uh, plundered by multinational uh, banks and corporations and institutions like the IMF and you know so on and so forth. But um, again, DJ Chump is uh, stirring up trouble. He also wants to um, impose new sanctions on Cuba, which is uh, foolish and unnecessary and uh, pointless, especially considering the fact that uh, we have trade relations with China and Vietnam and we don't blockade them. I suspect it's because Cuba doesn't have a Rothschild bank and um, Castro actually nationalized everything. <laughs> That they're, that they're so upset he didn't allow the mafia from the United States and the corporations to own Cuba they and, and the Rothschilds to get their cut that was those were his uh, he made those are three big sins so Castro was always an enemy and the hundreds of attempts were, were made on his life and um, in addition to uh, Cuba you also have uh, Nicaragua being threatened and then the same thing applies for there in Nicaragua you had a family the Samosas that owned everything and uh, they tried to have a socialist movement the Sandinistas to um, get some e some some equality and a, and a better society going they didn't you, you know having one family own everything all the all the most valuable land and, and rights to uh water that's that's a uh, but for um the uh, libertarians uh conservatives and republicans that's that's appropriate for them when you allow a uh, very small group of people to own everything and have them rent our lives to us they don't see any problem with that that's freedom <laughs> it's like yeah you're free to uh work for pennies on the dollar and barely make it by uh and uh, as we know, uh, Bakunin actually said that you can be as free as you want on paper. You can have the right to vote, but uh, <laughs> if you can't make anything of your life or, or, you know, live without being in a perpetual debt and um, being a wage slave, that's not much freedom uh, at all. I think uh, that's, this is a good place to conclude this video. That's just some of what's happening in Latin America. I didn't get into uh, great details. But, um, and then I haven't been putting out as much material, but I promise that um, around the beginning of the next year, uh, if I live to see it, in January, I plan on doing a uh, lot better job on these videos and actually um, having all the little bells and whistles 
I want to be one of those individuals with the, the whole split screen so I can show you some of the evidence and some of my source material because uh, people, the, the, the truth is stranger than fiction and people, uh, my, my thing is um, I always like to be able to say you can't say you weren't warned because um, the uh, outlook for the for um, the masses isn't so good. We have um, some sinister technology on the horizon that uh, once it becomes uh, fully functional, I mean, who knows how how much they'll do? Because we're we're boiling frogs, as the as the uh, saying goes, and maybe they'll turn up the heat once they get uh, their grid uh, more solidified. Because we already are on a grid and. I'm always talking about us going to the Tron Legacy prison from uh, X-Men Days of Future Past, you know, and uh, and I and I and I laugh at it to uh, cope, but it it is a serious thing, um, you know. The um, outlook isn't isn't very bright uh, with the, all the uh, information that that comes out about the uh, minority and the masses that that they control. But um, on that positive note, I'm going to end this video here. And uh, God willing, I'll see you in a future video. Um, and again, I apologize, but uh, for the, um, the pro pro probably next uh, six weeks, the material that I put out will be uh, far and few between. But thanks for those who are st uh, staying tuned and uh, appreciating my channel. Uh, this is a labor of love and um, I appreciate my viewers as always um, or usually good commentary. Thanks for watching and God willing see you in a future video.